Hey again, welcome back to Encouraging Word, a brief word of encouragement from the Bible. My name is Dave. I'm in Killarney, Manitoba. I'm so glad that you've joined us. We finish up today talking about being the people of God, being people of grace, love, and faith, and how we do that in a practical way. One of the ways that we show that we are the people of God is by a simple word um, reflected in that word is honor honor or you might say respect romans chapter 12 verse 10 says be devoted to one another in love honor one another above yourselves uh, we the people of god should be people of honor we honor other people even above ourselves uh, we're not always looking for what's best for us. We want to look what's best for other people. Uh, we may not always agree with other people, but we show them respect and we show them honor always. This includes our family. Uh, the Bible reminds us in Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 2 that we are to honor our parents and we are to show them respect. That is expected of us. Romans 13 says that we should respect all those in authority over us. Uh, these are government leaders and officials. Um, such people have been chosen by God to lead us and to direct our affairs. Uh, verse 7 says, give to everyone what you owe them. If you owe taxes, pay taxes. If revenue, then revenue. If respect, then respect. If honor, then honor. I know there's a lot going on in our world today, and uh, Christians are saying, well, these people don't deserve our respect. Actually, the Bible says they do, and we are expected to honor them. In light of what's going on in our country today, you know, one questions whether the people of God um, should be speaking about our leaders the way they often do. There seems to be a lot of disrespect coming from people who are demanding their rights and freedoms and not really showing respect and honor to other people. First Timothy chapter 5 speaks about honoring your church leaders and showing them respect as well. A really good question to ask ourselves is how do we come to this place where it seems like there is so much disrespect for others in our society, uh, be it uh, police officers, political leaders, uh, teachers, parents. There's a lot of disrespect going on. And how do we get here? Um, part of the answer lies in the fact that many people have lost their respect for God. Uh, Psalm 22 and verse 23 says, you who fear the Lord, praise him. All you descendants of Jacob, honor him. Praise him, all you descendants of Israel. We don't even like to talk about verses uh, that refer to fearing of the Lord. We have this picture of God as a benevolent, loving, caring God, you know, a buddy buddy who, you know, has always got his arm around us. Uh, and, and yet we don't see him as the judge of the earth. And yet the Bible says that he is, even Jesus is seen as the judge. Second Corinthians chapter 5 reminds us, for we must, we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each one may be recompensed for his deeds in the body according to what he's done, whether good or bad. The Bible says, hey, listen, this Jesus whom we love and is our buddy and is our pal and hangs around with us all the time, one day he's going to be our judge, and we're going to have to appear, every one of us, before the judgment seat of Jesus Christ, and he will judge us based on what we've done. First John chapter 5 states very clearly that the Father gave Jesus authority to execute judgment because he is the Son of Man. Uh, Jesus has the authority to execute judgment. We need to respect him and honor that as such. When we lose respect for God, for Jesus, we seldom have respect for anyone else. If we think that we can get away with disrespecting God, then uh, who's going to hold us accountable for disrespecting other people? Isaiah said it, and Jesus quoted it. He said, These people come near to me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. It's not just a matter of what you say. It really reflects our whole life as to whether we are respecting and honoring God. We are God's people. We are Christ's ambassadors. We represent him and we need to do it well. Today in the opening ceremonies of the Olympics, you may have seen uh, athletes representing Canada all dressed in their uniforms or their outfits or whatever you want to uh, call them, representing, making an oath to uh, honor civility and respect for each other in all the various competitions. They represent Canada well, and we cheer them on as our representatives 
Romans chapter 13, verse 13 says, Let us behave decently as in the daytime, not in carousing and in drunkenness, not in sexual immorality and debauchery, not in dissension and jealousy. Rather, clothe yourselves with the Lord Jesus Christ and do not think about how to gratify the desires of the flesh. Today and every day, we represent Jesus to our community. Our words, our actions, our attitudes all reflect Jesus. We are not going to do it perfectly all the time, believe me, but that is to be our goal every day, to point people to how good Jesus is, not necessarily how good we are. Let's do that every day. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for, for your love and for your grace that you showed towards us. Help us to be your people, people of love, grace, and faith. Help us to be that in our community. Help us to represent you well. May we clothe ourselves with Jesus Christ. It's not our goodness. It's your goodness that we want to shine forth. And I pray your blessing will be upon each one as they serve you today, wherever they are, in their home, in their work, in their school, wherever people are today. May we serve and represent Jesus well today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, uh, God willing, we will be back on Monday with another encouraging word. This is the weekend. We have an online service. We invite you to join us wherever you're at. You can join us on our Facebook or YouTube and as and, and see the, the short service. Next week, God willing, we'll be having a live stream service, uh, but we'll see what happens. And so we're just really looking forward to this weekend. Trust that wherever you are, you get to go to church and meet with some people online or in person, however you do it. But I trust that you have a great day. Hey, God bless. Thanks for joining us today. See you on Monday.